start precisely. Uh, we have a lot of uh, interesting topics today. Welcome uh, again to this uh, international traditional boarding school. You know the, the motto of the school, uh, mens sana in corpore sano. This means we have to look for good snow conditions to get the best sessions we can have. And I think the surrounding may be really uh, very good this year. Uh, when we started this meeting 16 years ago, we did not dare to hope that we got so many support and so many sympathy. And we want to thank you for all of this. Also this year, I think we have a really tremendous, extraordinary faculty. And uh, Magic Kwiatkowski and me and Tulio really want to thank you for coming to give us the opportunity to discuss pitfalls and other, th and other things who are really uh, very, very important. Let me first introduce you the new speakers this year. Sigrid Carlsen, uh, she's welcome. Michael Heckmann, Lukas Manka, Theodor van der Quast, Niklaus Schäfer, Michael Stöckler and Stephen Stone. They are cordially welcome and uh, I hope it's not the first and the last time they are here. So, <coughs> a lot of you have the platinum medal, which means they have been eight times here. So it is Peter Hamara, Jonas, Christoph Isele and Alexandre Slotta. This is the hard core of this meeting, and I, I hope they persist in this. I totally regret I have also a sad news. This means that my former chief, Reto Chol, has passed away last year. It was a great chief, and we have learned a lot of interesting things. He taught us to have analytical thinking, he taught us to have uh, really uh, curiosity in science. And I will never forget the, the surgical procedures with him. Making radical prostatectomy with Reto, this means we were looking in every detail how it was made in Hamburg, in Mainz, in Memorial Stone Kettering, in Indianapolis. It was really a fascinating discussion with him. And he, he taught us really to be uh, responsible, self-criticism, and so on. He supported and initiated this meeting here and with, and I please you to stand up for and to give him his last respect. Thank you. So, <coughs> what is the, the way to go to the top of knowledge in, in respect to prostate cancer. We, can, we have now the Olympic Games and we can look to the motto from uh, Henri Didon. He did it in 1924. Zizius, Alzius, Fortius, faster, higher and stronger. But I think this describes only the performance. When we are going back longer years ago, we are, we are coming to Vergil, an ancient Latin poet who described Felix qui potuit rerum cognoscere causas, which means the man or the guy is happy who is really going to the bottom of knowledge, who is looking for this. And I think this is the way everybody from us has to go. We remember also the Hippocrates Oath, and this des describes the dilemma we have in our days. Not only in prostate cancer screening, we have it in breast cancer screening and colon screening. We have it in cardiac surgery. We have it in medical treatment of uh, hypertension. All of these, all these um, medical treatments have over-treatment. But we have it also, and so we have to really to discuss whether we participants in screening procedures risk overdiagnosis, treatment side effects, and to treat the cancer which have never, would never have symptoms or shorten lifetime. I, in the next three days, I want to learn from you. I want to learn from you, and I don't know, a lot of speakers have been in front of this meeting here. We have observed him. We have observed 
Peter and Jonas discussing, philosophizing the uh, topic, who is a candidate for screening. And I hope to get the answer in the first session, Jonas and Peter, and uh, to know more about the US PSCF, AOA, and EAU recommendations. So, part of the first session is also secret. She has a very special sky in downhill skiing, very tremendous and very fast. <laughs> and also a clear statement, it ain't what you do, it's the way you do it. And I, I was really uh, fascinated by the sentence and uh, yes, I hope to hear more about this. It's clear, quality of life. Uh, Harry has a, is an artist in snowboarding and we will see uh, about his lecture. The topic over diagnosis is uh, coming from Fritz, this is clear, risk calculators, Risk Fritz is here, alias uh, Charlie Chaplin. He used to be also in this valley here a lot of times. And uh, juggling with this key, I think you juggle with your risk calculators and I am looking forward to this. Whereas Hans, he knows, I think, everything because he has the Malmö project and he's standing behind and yes, will also talk us about this. Lori and Arnu, they have observed the Crashes, a lot of crashes in the Bob run, so they will tell us how to prevent these, uh, these crashes and how to uh, handle active surveillance, what are the inclusion criteria. I regret that Arnoux isn't able to come because of family reasons. Mark Emberton will take his job. So, the key of all, of all unnecessary treatment is, I think, the, the art of excellence in local therapy. If we don't have trouble in unnecessary treatment, then the harms is reduced. And uh, one of the guys, Marcos, has the, the leadership there, but you have also the most adverse wind in this case. So I'm uh, curious about NeuroSafe, open surgery versus Da Vinci and the salvage lymph node dissection. The same is belonging to uh, Thomas Wiegel. He has to be aware that Mark Emberton may be passing him outside with his selective tissue therapy. Uh, I'm curious about this topic. For years, we didn't have any available therapy in castration-resistant cancer. Now we have a bucket of flowers. And I think this is one of, will one be, be of the most interesting sessions. We have also case dis cases prepared for this uh, session, so I hope to learn there more and more. And while in respect to the future, I think personalized medicine by genetic markers is really one of the most important topics. As a Bob run, I think a Canadian must be the leadership, which means Alex has to to make this leadership there, and uh, I, I want to learn more about new prognostic markers. Last but not least, once again we have on tomorrow afternoon, we have uh, the first uh, prostate awareness race. It's um, on Covilia, and I, I, uh, I hope you will announce the, for, this, uh, for this race, it's the former Olympic uh, uh, pissed, but only the first, uh, the first third of this. It's not so dangerous, it's very, very calm. So once again, thanks for coming, and uh, yes, have nice days, and I hope uh, we will succeed. Thank you.